Hello. Today I wanted to show you what we did, have done in our house in the past two months. Because we moved in a month ago, but we got the yeast two months ago. For now, I'm gonna make myself an iced chai with sweet cold foam. I'll show you how to make it. Because it's delicious. And I make it for everyone that comes over that is willing to give me a chance to make it for them. Because it's delicious. It is. And I feel like that leaves an imprint on someone after after they consume it. Let me show you. First you need ice, right? Um, not any old ice. Okay, if you have ice from the fridge, I'm sorry. It sucks. What you need to do is um, be extra whiny while you're pregnant so your husband um, feels the need that he does need to buy you a $600 ice cube maker and then you're set for life. I'm gonna go get my ice. Then what you need is your Chai Concentrate. This one is from Target. This is the one they use at Starbucks. Um, Trader Joe's one is better. It is, but it's always sold out, so you just settle. That one's almost empty out anymore. Winners. I'm also using a 50 ml on my camera, and it's so, it's trippy because I usually use like the one, my long one, the zoomy one, so like there's more, covers more surface area around me, but this one's super cropped. I feel, I feel like somebody's watching me. So it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to go from like head to like my hands with this. So um, let's just make it cinematic. Um, yeah. shoot on this thing now I'm shooting on this little thing here it is I forgot to include um, vanilla bean paste it's from Trader Joe's and they only have this seasonally so I need to before like holiday season's over I'm gonna stock up on this you put that into the heavy cream and then you mix it so the goal of today's video is to power through everything we've done to the house so far remodel wise since the last time I showed you. And the last time I showed you was our walkthrough of when we were living in, we weren't even living here yet, um, when it was all like construction-y and stuff like that. Um, we've done a lot to the place. It feels, still feels like we haven't done much, but when you look back on it, you're like, yes, we've done a lot. You know, um, we've mostly been concentrating on the west side of the house. So that's the uh, uh, two boys' bedrooms, um, the guest bedroom, um, the living area, the hallways, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we repainted some stuff, so I'll show you. I think it is, you forget what a big difference it is once you get used to it, but like looking back on pictures, I'm like, that is a very big difference of what we just done. And I kind of want to document it, so yeah, I'll walk you guys through it. Still lots to be done, definitely. Like, look at my kitchen. It's gorgeous. We were originally, we were like, yeah, we're gonna do it right away. Um, a kitchen costs like twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Did you know that? I didn't. What kind of cabinets we want to do we have to be custom cabinets, right? Um, lead time on those is like months out, and yeah. So we're just, you know, we're we're just <laughs> we're just not doing that right now. Um, I kind of want to get a feel. I wanted to get a feel of the kitchen. I've already like re, you know, when you have like a plan. And then you live in the space, and then you realize that plan would not be practical, or like it just doesn't work with the space. That's where I'm at right now. Like I'm getting used to the house, I'm getting used to our flow, like how we're doing things, and I'm just like every week 
I change my mind about stuff. So uh, we don't have much furniture either. Uh, Christmas is on its way, same with Thanksgiving. And uh, we invited people. We were like, yeah, we're hosting, we have a house. No table and no chairs. Um, how I'm sitting and eating right now, I'll show you. This is how our family of four eats. There's just, this is the like the stove top and it just has this island here and we just put chairs um, around it from our apartment. It's fine, it works fine for now. Like. It's fine. Dosan is in a high chair too, so like, we fit for now. First things first, it's like my library. So this was um, previous owner, remember you guys? This was like a navy dark blue um, bookcase. I don't have that many books, and the books that I do have, I don't care to display. It's mostly like thriller. <laughs> but what I do have a lot of is a, a lot of um, dishware and things like that and it's actually coming in handy because um, right now our kitchen is just it's old like the cabinets are old and I'm use, utilizing like what I can but for like our nicer dishes I would much rather put them out here it just feels cleaner um, and also the bottom um, the bottom doors things um, I put like our big kitchen appliances into so like toasters KitchenAid uh, bread maker things like that are kind of tucked away which is which is nice because there's like there's not much counter space in general and this makes it better you know it's like tucked away I like it now going into the hardware of our situation here these cuties um, originally they had like the round wood knobs but I wanted something a little bit prettier so originally I found these on Etsy and I was super excited about them I'm like oh they're like either vintage or because I had it filtered to like handmade and they were gonna take a couple months to get here but I was like whatever it's fine and then I'm like I'm gonna try to look on like Amazon to see if I could find something similar found the exact same ones on Amazon they arrived in like three days so I guess it's something to watch out for because Etsy used to be such like a trustworthy place to buy handmade and vintage but now it's just like mass-produced things and they upcharge it so much so these all of these I got for like 20 bucks on um, Etsy the exact same ones same picture everything um, were like 20 bucks a pop the kitchen will eventually be this entire space what I'm thinking for the floors is like a Harlequin printed tile tile is expensive and I did not know a tile is significantly more expensive than like vinyl and things like that which obviously is so much more work but I'm still thinking about it because we need to put tile in before we put cabinets in, but before, basically it has to be all together. Um, but yeah, either we're gonna splurge and do the tile or we're gonna do wood everywhere. But a Harlequin tile would look so beautiful here, you know? And then it would like tie in the black fireplace too, you know? Yeah, no. I still have this fireplace left here. Um, we were originally thinking of just like ripping it out because I'm not the biggest fan of black. But then a couple of you wrote to us and said like, this is actually very expensive marble. And we looked into it and a friend of ours looked into it who's in the business and it is indeed expensive marble. So what I'm thinking of, we'll of course keep it because our replacement wouldn't be like better quality than this. Uh, but what I'm thinking is see how it has the, the gold columns. Thinking of painting it black. Okay, next we're at my pride and joy. My Spanish tile steps with my terracotta. So here's the terracotta tile that we put down in all of the walkways. So over there and down this hall. I was kind of talking about it in the last video. But then I also really wanted to do these like accents on the insides of it. And they are beautiful and I'm so happy we did. So the tiles, um, we did this little print here. We had, we had the terracotta tile go in. We had the terracotta song. We had the ter terracotta go tile going first, and then this is before we moved in, and they were kind of wrapping up, and we still didn't order like this part. Um, and I was kind of thinking, like, whatever, it's fine, just let them finish the staircase. But then I really thought about it, and I would uh, really regret looking at the staircase and like not have this accent because it's such a good, good opportunity to. So we ordered like, I think it was like 18 by 18 or something like that. Basically it's like a huge tile piece with little tiles inside. 
So I tile guy, like cut out each individual piece here and put them in the pattern that I wanted. So yeah, um, a little bit more extra work, a little bit more money, but I'm really, really glad that we did this because if we wouldn't have, you can't do it again. Like you would have to redo the whole staircase, you know? And I'm just glad we did. It's cute, I like it. There's a lot going on in here, but I just wanted it to be a little creative space. We did all of the crown molding in here, but we did, there was popcorn ceilings, ripped those out, did crown moldings, um, added curtains, and hardwood flooring, because everything used to be carpet, everything. Every room used to be a different color carpet. So yeah, this is his room. We still need to put the doors on his closets, but also enameled this and all the trim in his room. Again, eventually all the doors will also be enameled. But for now, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> now this is Ruslan Chick's room. Um, we did exact same color, exact same molding, exact same floors in all three bedrooms here just to keep it consistent. Um, again, did like really tall curtains. These are my favorite curtains. I've had them all over the place in our house, in our apartment, and now here. I'll link them down below for you guys. They're blackout. They are tall velvet, and they just like scrunch up really well so you don't need to do anything yourself. Um, other than that, yeah, his room is just not yet complete, but I love the chandelier. The medallion just, oh, it's so beautiful. Like, it kind of reminds me of like a little princess room, but whatever, he's little, so he's fine. Our guest bedroom, so exact same thing, <laughs> crown molding, exact same paint color, flooring, everything. Um, we just kind of did one by one, the exact same things in all the three rooms that are right next to each other. Uh, it's beautiful, huge tall ceilings. Um, this one has like the best view outside. Um, plan for it is, it's gonna be a guest bedroom. My sister's gonna move in in a couple of weeks, but same medallion as in the salon's room. And I wanna do like a really cool chandelier in here, but for now it's just a bed, like a mattress, for now. And our fiddle leaf that we got at Costco that Philip traumatized. I had it in our laundry room and it was really cold outside and he decided to open the windows in the laundry room so it froze a little bit but didn't lose any leaves so that's good. Now just a scope like this room we haven't touched since we moved in. Um, this was the vibe of the entire house. Carpet. These kind of lighting everywhere. So it's a, it's a, it's a big upgrade. I remember this room, it had like LED lights in the ceiling and this whole room used to be blue. Well, we repainted it, we did the ceilings and took the LED strips out. Um, so now it's just like a big, big open room and painted all of that too. This used to be blue too. It's coming together. Have not done anything to this room. This room is gonna be a lot of work. For now, it was just like a playroom, but we were testing out some white colors in here. Hello, mister. The grass is still here. My emotional support blanket. But yeah, that's pretty much it for everything we've done in the house. It's a lot, like it really, really is. Um, I think we're gonna kind of slow down and like the major renovations, like, the next big thing is probably gonna be flooring in this room, um, and then probably tackle. No, kitchen's probably gonna be next year. Just because once you start a kitchen renovation, you can do like everything at once, and it's a lot of money. Um, so I think we're probably gonna do the golden room. We'll tackle that next, and flooring. But yeah, other than that, we're we're good. We're we're we're. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. We're getting used to our little confession shower. It's actually kind of cute. It has like pink tile inside. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's about it. I'm going to go start on dinner for the family because the boys are just like shoved into that room because I told them to be quiet. But they're hungry. And we bought a cow, a quarter of a cow with some friends. So I, ha I have beef I need to use. All right. <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any tips or things like that, let me know but other than that unless you know how to tile i don't know how else we could like save money on a remodel because it's so expensive why is everything so expensive i just wanted everything to be ready already like done 
take time and watch just watch it'll take us like five years to remodel and then we're gonna move I don't want to move ever okay bye peace out thank you